We used to be able to see fish rolling all over the place. We could actually visually see them spawning in the river, and there were thousands of them. You could go to any uh, spawning area and see them all the way across spawning. Now you're lucky if you can see one or two. And, you know, this year, since the season's opened, we've seen two fish roll. So there's not a lot of fish in here. Now, I used to be able to do two trips a day. A lot of days uh, I could fish for salmon for six months out of the year, and right now it's down to a month and a half of fishing, and, you know, you're fishing all day to get one or two fish right now. So, yeah, it's definitely slowed down. I think uh, right now the, one of the main reasons there's not a lot of fish is there's just been too much water pumped out of the delta. When these fish spawn, the... Uh, fish will travel back down and they need to get to the ocean and I just don't think they're making it to the ocean. We've basically seen a collapse of our fishery and uh, we need to fix the problem right away. And with the politicians, the way they're fighting and bickering, uh, it's going to take a while. All Pacific salmon die when they re-enter fresh water. This is the end of their life cycle. So we go ahead and kill these fish and actually artificially open up the female, take the eggs and fertilized by hand with the male. At that point, we rear these eggs to the point of hatching and to the point of release. Without a program like this to supplement with all of the water delivery issues that we have in the state and a burgeoning population, we might seriously have either much more returns to the river or limited fishing and limited salmon that we actually can all enjoy.